everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited tonight. I'm going for overall win number 959. I've got all of this amazing Cuban food to eat, and I'm for the first time in Gainesville, Florida, which is the home of the University of Florida, the Gators, which is also where Gatorade was invented, but we've got lots of people here, which is much appreciated. <laughs> This is kind of a combo promotion. All of this delicious Cuban food is made by Flacco's Cuban Bakery, which is next door to where we are right now. Their sister restaurant, which is called Vecinos. It actually means neighbor in Spanish. It just opened a few days ago. Now, we have like a six and a half pound feast right here, and I've got some help uh, listing off all this that we have to eat, but we've got three of their sandwiches. Over here is a Scarface, which has, I know, salami, Polish sausage, and ham. And then I know we've got their Gator Cuban sandwich, which is kind of like a Cuban sandwich, but instead of ham, it's got shredded beets. We've got that, and then we've got a legit Cuban sandwich, which has, of course, the pickles, the Swiss cheese, the ham. It's got the pulled pork on top, all the deliciousness. We've also got two arepas. One's got ropa, which is beef, and then the other arepa has pork. And then right here, we've got some plantains with some more cheese. And then over here, we've got some Cuban style black beans and rice. We've got a whole bunch of their healthy vegetable slaw. I don't know the sauce on it, but we'll call it healthy vegetables. And then last but not least, we've got a couple desserts over here. We've got some quesitos, which are filled with cream cheese and then sprinkled with sugar. And then I had to have them add some guava and cheese pastries. This is not required, but I tried it beforehand and really wanted to try it while eating all this food. It is made by Ace Brewery, which I think is based out of California, but it is a pineapple cider. I'm not a cider fan, but this pineapple cider is amazing. But we've got one hour to finish. If I fail this challenge, it's gonna be $70. But if I win, I'll get my entire Cuban meal for free. I will get a sweet t-shirt that they're gonna mail to me, and I'll be the very first person with my name and photo up on the wall of fame. Let's get this challenge started. <laughs> All right, it is time to dominate some Cuban food. I'm gonna start over with this Scarface sandwich and then work my way over, I think, get the sandwiches done first. Big thank you to the owners, Tim and Sarah. Thank you to them for having me in to help kick off this challenge. Let's shut up and eat. One, two, three, boom. All righty, Scarface time. <laughs> Everything got weighed out. It was right over six and a half pounds, I think. This Scarface sandwich with salami, ham, and sausage is delicious. I've got the biggest expectations for the Cuban sandwich, so let's do the Cuban sandwich before we do the gator one. All of these sandwiches are pressed, too. Help, help, I'm being pressed! They're delicious, going right down. This Cuban is delicious. I can't say I'm like a connoisseur, I haven't had that many, but this is good. I like the pickles and mustard combo that they got on here. We're done with two of the sandwiches. Now we're working on the Gator Cuban sandwich, which instead of ham, has beef. But let's dig in. The beef's going down a little bit tougher than the one with ham, but it is very flavorful. I like it. Gonna enjoy a sip of this cider. Again, a pineapple cider. I've never heard of one before. It is delicious. That is crisp. Let's finish the rest of this sandwich. 
Tim, the owner, is known as Flaco, and Flaco, again in Spanish, means skinny man, which you can see he is by the photos in the video, but he does make delicious food, that is for sure, and thank you to him, he's been a subscriber for like three years now, so great to get here to support his restaurants. Last bite of the Gator Cuban Sandwich. I was thinking about doing the arepas next, but instead, let's eat some plantains and cheese before they cool off. White cheese. Mm. I'm excited and nervous to bite into all of these pastries. That's a lot of bread there. Last plantain. This is a pork arepa with mojo. Mojo, I think, just means grilled onions. Ooh, let's dig in. I think it's because of the arepa, but this jumped over and tastes all three of those sandwiches. This is amazing. Ooh, I don't really know how to explain the arepa. It is amazing. This one is a ropa arepa. It also has a white cheese, too. Let's do this. We're 15 minutes and 20 seconds in. going right down. I was really worried about how much bread there is, but all of the Cuban marinated meats are just helping the bread and stuff go right down. I am done trying to chase arepas with pineapple cider. <laughs> Save myself on that one. We're all good now. Last bite of the arepas. This is a pretty heavy plate, but we've got black beans and rice. I really want to try this. It is their vegetable slaw. Kind of reminds me of the six pound Colombian uh, bandeja paisa I had with Mandel versus food when we were in Spain. Glad there's not too much of it. We are getting there. 20 minutes and 18 seconds. Time for some vegetables. I'm sitting here trying to eat and I think some Spanish show's on and two people are just making out hardcore. <laughs> I called this slaw earlier and I guess you can call it a slaw, but there's no like vinegar or sauce or anything on it. It's more meant for putting on the sandwiches and stuff like that, but almost done with it. Dessert time, people, I'm excited. I want some Nutella in it, but this is good too. All right, guava and cheese. Guava's delicious. I think I only had guava in the other one, maybe not, but this one definitely had cream cheese in it too. Almost there. Gonna end with the guava and cream cheese, so let's do this last quesito. It's really optional, but let's do it anyway. I am the first person to win, so it is the new record to beat. If you're interested in trying this new delicious Cuban food challenge here, hosted by Flacco's Cuban Bakery, 29 minutes and 59 seconds. Yes. Like I said earlier, this is all provided by Flacco's Cuban Bakery, which is next door here to Vecinos, where this is all at, which is Spanish for neighbor. But I don't really know what my favorite part of that challenge was. I'm gonna go with both of those arepas, 
the pork arepa was great, followed by the ropa arepa, which had the beef. Those were amazing. I've got to say for my sandwich, I'm gonna go with the Cuban. That was amazing, but then the Scarface and the Gator Cuban, those were great too. Uh, definitely of the desserts, my favorite was the guava and cheese pastry. I'm going to get my $70 Cuban meal for free. They don't have any sweet t-shirts available yet, but they will be mailing me one for my collection, and I'll have my name and photo, the first person to win, up on Flacco's Wall of Fame. So thank you guys all for being here. It was overall win number 959. Got a few more Florida challenges upcoming, but thank you guys for watching. Woo!